be away from the feeling of the rest of the film, but it was also in black and white, which accentuated its difference. Yes, but it was newsreel, it was actual it was, yeah, it, TV Yeah, it was, newsreel. but somehow, I, I don't know, it just seemed to me like a wart. I tell you what, if you walk off stage and find out that $203,000 are going to be spared, if I walk up off stage and have that, I should just be happy. It'd be pretty relevant, but <laughs> it was, that was it. It was a day in July, really. Yeah. We just, in fact, that we tried to find a title that would signify the fact that it was That's just right, that, wasn't yeah, it? You know, yeah. a day in July might have been a good title. Yeah. A bit late in the day to change it. Robert, why did you make the film in the first place? Well, I wouldn't like to think that vanity crept in, but uh, it's it's rather frustrating spending. Uh, now, well, and now it's a total of about eight and a half years of playing on stage. And uh, I think the closest we've ever got of seeing ourselves is having a sly peep at the video screen in Earl's Court. You know? So, initially, if it ran to know more than just, you know, turning ourselves on, or at least having a look to see what people came for, you know, that was the initial, uh, you know, idea. And from, and from there on, we just wanted to capture one, one moment in time, you know. I mean, it was... Now it's got to the point it was a while back. You know, the time may come again when we reach a point that we say, right, you know, let's capture, let's have a go at this one, let's see how this looks. You know? It's ironical to me as a television producer that it's taken an extract from a commercial cinema film to bring Led Zeppelin back in performance state, back in on to the small screen. What well, you obviously have persevered with a positive line of not appearing on television anywhere in the world, I believe. Why have you done, why have you particularly done that? It was the only way we could line you up to get any decent time on Old Grey, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but really, I mean, do you feel that television is, is too limited? In, yes. In, in what area? Well, particularly in sound. With respect, I don't think they have the facilities to record the sound. And in some way, you just cannot capture the magic of Zeppelin. Magic is a much banded word, I know. You just, you just can't. That's why I've always been against doing it. I must say, television loudspeakers do have certain limitations. Yeah. To me, to put it in words, I, I don't know, but it's, I just don't see it working. It, well, it doesn't work for Led Zeppelin. Well, obviously, the, the major uh, problem for a band is sound, of course it is. Yeah. What, what, but what I can you... give you an example. In Earl's Court, if any people saw Earl's Court, went to, the people that went to Earl's Court was around, um, what, 90 odd thousand. Yeah. You know, now then. I think it worked really well myself, the big screen at the back. It looks super. You know, people got really close up things. Now I have that whole thing on cassette. And I put it on a 25 inch screen at home. Nothing. It doesn't work. What have you done about the cinemas you're going into? Have you, have you done anything special about the sound there? Oh, uh, you'd be very careful on the cinemas. I think there are certain cinemas that can accommodate the, you know, the four track stereo that, that the film is uh, presented in initially. And um, I should imagine that other cinemas in uh, strategic points can be equipped with, with the right equipment so oh, that yes. we, can, we can really get, yeah. you know, we can do exactly yeah. what we started out doing, you know. Yeah. Well, to take it, the distributors fall in love with and push it up and down the country all over the place, will this affect live gigs and touring? No, no way. I mean, you would currently tour at the same time as, as the film is showing? Well, not immediately it comes out. No, but I mean, if it was still showing around the country, <coughs> that wouldn't influence you. I mean, we'll find John Paul Jones in time, you know, maybe. Well, thanks very much for coming along and chatting to us. Uh, maybe great. in five years' time, we'll see it bought up in a package and shown on BBC as a well, television special. Actually, I didn't let them have the television, right? Guesses. <laughs> Foiled again. Thanks, thanks very much thanks indeed, Robert. All right, great. Yeah. great. Get well soon, Bob. Yes. He's lost his voice. Blowing in the wind on the River Thames, Robert Plant and Peter Grant talking with Mike Appleton. And the sequence, sequence tonight is the one which impressed me the most.